Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I have a makeup haul to share with you which consists of e.l.f. purchases as well as Priceline purchases. e.l.f. was having a 50% off site wide to celebrate its 600k Facebook likes a while back so I couldn't resist myself by placing a pretty moderate order with them but because I live in Australia so I couldn't really have e.l.f. sending me all these products I had to find a forwarding company um, which helped me to get all these goodies into my hands. Let's just get right into it. First of all, as you can see, it's a huge palette from e.l.f. and it's their 144 piece neutral eyeshadow palette. I think neutral colors will never go wrong. I mean, um, I know it's quite boring at times, but think about it. If you buy over 100 shadows and if you have all these bright pinks and turquoise and greens, the chance of us using it is quite thin and rare. Lights up here and dark tones, uh, warms, cools, everything you need for any occasion. And I can't remember the exact price for this, but I think it was discounted to $750 US dollars, which is cheap as chips. And um, the shadows came in quite complete. There's no scratches, there's no broken pieces, so I'm happy with that. Now, moving on to the next one. I've actually bought a lot of e.l.f. brushes instead of their makeup items because I don't really need any more shadows or blushes or lipsticks. I haven't got any of their face products because I'm quite picky and particular about my um, base makeup. I won't really, you know, try out all the affordable brands unless I know that they're good for sure. So let's go through the brushes. I got two of these famous powder brush for $3. Three US dollars, and I've got their. I haven't tried their small tapered face brush, but I think it will be good for contour or highlight. And I got their stippling brush, which I heard a lot of good things about as well. And I've also got two of their complexion brush. I've tried them before, and I absolutely love them. I love the quality of it. I love the way that it's big and thick. And it feels soft on the skin. It packs the products on really nicely and evenly without making it look blotchy. Um, they're really good quality brushes. That's why I've stocked up on two more. And what else? I've got, also got their normal, I can't remember the line, but those standard eyeshadow brushes. I've got two of them as well for each type. That's a smudge brush eyeshadow brush, a blending eye brush. That's all the brushes that I've got and let's now move on to the makeup. Um, I've got their single eyeshadow, our single eyeshadow in the color, what's the color called? Oatmeal. I actually ordered two shadows but one of them didn't turn up so I was really upset because that one was really looking forward to. It's called Raspberry Truffle. It's a really like dark purplish burgundy color and I was like oh my god why didn't it deliver it but they were out of stock. Oatmeal is just average I guess. It's a just a light gold sort of you can't really see it properly. It's just a light gold shade and Nothing very special, but I guess it's good for a wash of color over your lids and everyday sort of color. Um, I like the fact that it's in this really sturdy packaging and it also comes with a mirror, which is really nice if you're outdoor, like, you know, and you need a mirror for something. I've also got some e.l.f. blushes. I've got this color in Twinkle Pink. I'm not sure how bright it's going to be because I haven't opened it yet. If I can get this to open. Okay, I can't open this, so I think that's what the color meant to look like. Um, the second color I got is Candid Coral, which is also very highly talked about. It's a peachy coral shade. And the third is Tickle Pink, which is an all-time favorite for a lot of the skin complexions that I've heard of. I'll definitely try them out as soon as possible. Now, I've also got this e.l.f. Brow, brow Kit, which is just another one of their best-selling products. Um, nice packaging, black, very simple. You've got your mirror in there. You've got this little tool that comes with it, a brush and a little blending. So, I'm not sure whether I'll use these brushes, but 
it's good to have something in there. So we've got wax on one side, powder on the other side. It looks very exciting to me. I'll probably start using it very soon. I've got some cheap products. First of all, it's this HD blush from their studio line, and it's in the color Superstar. It looks quite runny in the center, but um, I'll just try a bit on the back of my hand to see. And it's quite chalky. And now when you spread it out, it's quite moussey. I don't know. I have a feeling that if you don't blend this cream blush out properly, it will appear very blotchy on your face because that's exactly what's happening on the back of my hand. So I think when I use this product, I'll need to be super, super careful. Probably just use it with one of the stippling brushes that I've just bought. We're still on the topic of cheeks. So I've got a um, pressed mineral blush from e.l.f. because I, I don't know, I just think that, you know, the standard studio line, they were really popular, but mineral blush, you might be longer lasting. Picked out a color which I think is pretty good for my skin tone. Oh, I actually really love this. It feels really silky and soft on the back of my hand. Didn't feel any mineral particles or anything like that. The color is in Sweet Retreat. This mineral blush doesn't contain any sparkle or shimmer in it, which is good because sometimes you just were really after that matte soft finish. I'll definitely use this in my everyday sort of makeup routine just to see how it holds throughout the day. The next product that I want to show you is this Baked Shadow from e.l.f. This is in the color Pixie, which is a... I wouldn't call it pink. It's probably towards like a bronzy, pinky sort of... It's just a very nice, soft sheen. And I would probably use this with my fingers if I was to have it all over my lid and use a stippling brush if I was to use some on my cheeks. I think it's a really multi-purpose product. That's why I got this color because you know, I probably prefer a pinky sort of reddish highlight over any gold or bronze. The next product that I got from e.l.f. is their Mineral Eyeshadow Primer. I've got two of these, which I'm really curious to try and want to see how well it holds my shadows for throughout the day. It feels really light on the back of my hand. This Mineral Eyeshadow Primer is something that I've always wanted to try, but because I don't make purchases from e.l.f., that's why I've been holding back until now. If this primer is any good, I can just always buy it from Kmart here in Australia anyway. The next product that I want to show you will be their Cream Shadow. Um, I haven't really picked out many colors because with drugstore cream shadows. I don't know whether they'll try dry out quickly, whether they have the right color for me. And because I don't have any sample to swatch in front of me, I tend to be a little careful about selecting the shades that I'm after. This particular shade is in the color called Dawn. It's a really, really soft, taupey, brown sort of shade. It finishes quite dry, so I probably can use this all over my lid just as a single color. I really like this packaging because it's very small and it's very portable. Um, I do like my Maybelline color tattoo, but I think the jar is just too bulky and I just don't like carrying it around with me in my purse. But with this product, I can just chuck it in my pocket and you'll be good to go. I think it will match every skin tone pretty easily. I've got one last product that I want to show you and it's from the e.l.f. studio. It's called Eye Primer and Line Sealer. I haven't heard anyone talk about this product before. So I was pretty curious to know what it is. It's, I haven't opened it, so I wouldn't know. Um, so one end, you'll have this transparent pen thing where it seals your eyeliner, I guess. The other end, you have this eyelid primer. Basically what this product does is that the primer side allows the shadow to clean onto your lids better and the pen, that transparent pen side, will actually seal up your shadow so that it doesn't smudge, it doesn't fade throughout the entire day. This is actually a very interesting product and I totally look forward to try this out because I haven't had any, well I haven't seen any company coming out with similar product, this dual sided product, just to make sure that our shadows stay all day. I'll probably use this when I have a very long day ahead of me 
and I'll definitely keep you guys updated as to how good it does its job. Okay, that's all of my e.l.f. goodies that I've bought so far. I think the main focus of this purchase is just to try out some shadows and mainly just brushes. I think I wanted to use this opportunity to stock up on their famous affordable brushes and um, I'm pretty happy that I got some of their e.l.f. blushes because I just can't get my hands on them. Not from iHerb at least. Um, and at such an affordable price, I'm not complaining. So now that we're done with my e.l.f. haul, I just want to quickly show you what I got from Priceline, the 40% off sale. First of all, the first item that's in my bag will be this L'Oreal Butterfly False Lashes Wing Mascara thing. Um, this mascara I've been wanting to try for the longest time because it's been out for ages in the US, but we haven't got them till like a month ago. I've used this twice and so far I'm really liking it because I love its brush head because the winged out bit here will just ensure that the end of my brushes are evenly coating every one of my lash and there's no clumps. At all throughout the entire day. Even though this is not a waterproof formula, but I do find that it holds my lashes really well. So my curls will actually stay curly for the entire day without slumping or you know drooping down a few hours later. When I took it off with a eye makeup remover, it just comes off so easily and so nicely without tucking my eyelid, which is something that I really really like in this product. The next product in the bag will be this Bourjois 123 Perfect CC Cream. I've tried it like three times and I'm wearing it today under my powder foundation. I really, really like it. It covers my redness really well. I wouldn't recommend to people who has really bad scarring or pigmentation, but I think that if you just want a very natural, everyday sort of makeup, then definitely go with the CC Cream. And I think that it holds pretty well throughout the entire day. I've tried using it for work. And after eight hours, eight to nine hours application, my face still looked very close to what I started with. I was really pleased with this product. So I highly, highly recommend that if you can get your hands on this CC cream, it's definitely worth trying. And even though there was a 40% off, I still paid close to $20 for this CC cream. But it's the money well spent. The next product that I want to talk about will be also from Bourjois. And their color edition 24 hour cream to powder eyeshadow. This is in the color, what's the color? I don't know, 7002 or something. Taupey, rosy sort of color and it's just really nice. So that's what it looks like. It's very nice, sheer, dry. The texture is very moussey but not too gooey. So I've been really, really enjoying this shadow as it is or use it under my normal powder shadows. If you are looking for a new cream shadow, go for the Bourjois Color Edition 24 hour cream shadow. <laughs> Next product is also from Bourjois. I've bought a lot of Bourjois products because they're usually quite expensive and they really go on sales. So 40% is a huge deal for them. I've got their eyeshadow trio in the color Nude Ingenu. Or something like that if I'm pronouncing it wrong correct me um, basically it's just a very neutral trio it has really nice neutrals on them it's not too light you can transform it into day wear or night wear darken up as you want but basically it does have the colors to help you achieve all kinds of looks I do like the fact that it has a little plastic shield to prevent the shadows from flaking everywhere else and making a huge mess so I think that's a very smart design bourgeois from Essence, I picked up some backups for my long-lasting eyeliner, and this is in the color, what is it, hot chocolate, I think, yeah, number two, hot chocolate. I really like this eyeliner because it just stays on for the entire day, the pigmentation is just very intense, it's creamy, it doesn't smudge on me, it doesn't fade. I've picked up, I think, six. That's a really, really good product to stock up. And after the discount was like $1.50, I'm like, why not? You can just stock an entire year of eyeliner supply in this simple one trip that you make to the price line. It's totally worth it. I've also got some Essence lip products, which I think I've shown before already anyways. Um, I've got this Essence lipstick long lasting lipstick so pretty much the same line from this eyeliner and it's in the color number one coral calling 
I really like this color because it's just so nice orangey sort of everyday color. It's very creamy, it's very smooth and it's very moisturizing on the lips. Um, you can use it as a stain, you can build it up to a medium sort of lip finish. I've also got a lip gloss to pair with that lipstick which is their um, Essence XXXL Shine Lip Gloss. I really like this particular color because there's no shimmer, there's no glitter in it, it's very clear, it looks very moisturizing, very shiny. It not only keeps my lips moisturized throughout the entire day, it also makes it look very plumpy and very, yeah, just very nice and plump. But I really, really do like this lip gloss and it smells really nice as well. Maybe I'll try out different colors from this line, but so far I really like this particular color. It's called Just Gorgeous. It's their number 24 gloss. I've also got this Essence I Love Crazy Volume Mascara. It has a huge brush head. There's a bit of excess product on it. I haven't tried this yet, so I don't know how it goes. I hope I can enjoy this mascara because I wouldn't know how to use it up if I hated it. But so far, I'm not liking the brush head at all. It's not suitable for my eye shape anyway. I've got another mascara from Essence is their Lashes Wild, Go Wild Lashes Volume Mascara. I really need volume for my lashes because I have really, really thin lashes. Lengthwise, I'm not complaining because, you know, I don't want crazy ass length when I have small eyes. But this mascara looks like this. Reminds me of the Ico Mascara, but much drier and clumpier, which is something that I need to be careful when applying my mascara because I don't want it to ruin my eye makeup. I was actually recommended by a friend of mine that um, Essence have really good nail products. Um, the first product that she introduced me to is this Nail Art Express Dry Drops, which she told me she can never get her hands on because they're always sold out in whatever place that she goes to, Priceline, Target, or somewhere else but I managed to get in bright and early on the day of sale and I grabbed two of these I've also got this Essence quick dry top coat I'm really keen to try out because I've been using the Seshvi dry coat I do really like that product it's just that for me to repurchase I'll have to place an order online from eBay and then wait you know a couple of weeks before it comes in so if this is any good it's probably easier for me to get Essence than Seshvi the other product that I got from Essence Top Coat is this Gel Look Top Coat, which I have tried, and I do think that it gives a really squishy jello look. It's pretty. It gives a really nice shine to it, like the name suggests, XXXL Shine, but I don't think it will last unless you don't do anything for the entire day. Like, I was tying my shoelace when I was going to the gym, and my nail was wrecked. Probably won't be getting this anymore. One last product from Essence is this... I love smoky jumbo eye pencil. I really want to try this out because it's just a gigantic eye pencil. So far I really like the pigmentation, it's really good and I don't mind whether it's long lasting or what. As long as it will give me that smoky look, I probably can use this as an eyeshadow base if I want to go for a very exaggerated clubbing look. I look forward to try this one out, it's very affordable like $3.50. $3.50. I've got some new um, shadow pencils from L'Oreal. I know they're boring shades, just your like neutral sort of, what do you call this? Beigey, what's the color? Um, that's number six in delicate beige and this color is in number 10 sugar vanilla. I think every cosmetic brand now have their own shadow pencils, which is good because they're just so much easier to apply. So I think the only differentiation from these jumbo pencils to other brands is that um, the color variation. It's beige, but um, this L'Oreal Color Riche crayon is just much more delicate. The sheen is just so much prettier, and I do prefer them over um, all the other ones I've tried so far. And the next product that I want to talk about, I've got a shimmer... Uh, mineral baked shadow from Savvy, which is an Australian brand, Priceline brand. I haven't even opened it, but I do really like this as my Olera lid sort of color. I look forward to see how it works out on my lids, but so far that I've seen the tester, I really like the gold. It's it's just right for my skin tone. It's quite bright, but it's not too overwhelming. 
so I'll let you guys know what I think of it very soon. I've also got this nail polish from Max Factor. Um, I've always been a fan of Max Factor's nail polishes. Right now I'm wearing their mini, uh, is it mini effect nail polish or something like that? Um, but this one is in the color Burgundy Crush. I really, really like this because the consistency is just so even. It doesn't really run. It's nice and thick but not gloomy. I think that's the only color that I was after because I've already owned several of their um, Gloss Finity nail polishes. I've picked up um, the two matte lipsticks from the L'Oreal line. I, I don't know their name actually. I've got the two colors in Cherry Crush which is a very nice sort of pink. And I've also got a color in Orange Power. So I haven't used this one yet. It's very vibrant orange lipstick. And one last product um, I got, it's actually from Maybelline, and it's their Bold Matte Lipstick. This one is in the color Matte 5. I really, really, really love this lipstick because it's matte in the sense that it's not drying, but the color is just brave out there. So you can see that L'Oreal is much more matter than this Maybelline one because Maybelline is actually much more moisturizing. Actually, I'll try this on right now so that you guys can see how it looks on me. I just love this lipstick. It's so smooth, so velvety, gives a satin finish, feels so comfortable on the lips and it's very moisturizing. So it doesn't really... I've been wearing this for, I think... 8 hours straight once and it didn't leave any crack on me. It was still perfect by the time I got home at night. The number in matte 5 but I do think that this color is easier to match for every day rather than getting like an orange matte lipstick or a pinky matte. The pigmentation in this lipstick is just amazing. You have to have to try it. So that's all I got from my e.l.f. and Priceline haul. I know this video is a little long and thank you for tuning in. If you guys are interested in any of the products that I mentioned, please leave your comment down in the comment section below and let me know what reviews you want me to do or what sort of products that you want me to use in like a chit chat makeup tutorial. Don't forget to like this video if you find it helpful or interesting and if you have any video requests please leave them down in the comment below so I can have a look at them whenever I can. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!